Yeah, yeah. Let's see you just flex TV. You know, see them are watching a 4K and a 3D. You know it good, you know. Girl, I watch you like cinema. Say she won't get a kid in your ass. Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people, blessings each and every one. Just a check in, come to give you guys some updates. Hope everybody being blessed. Stay blessed as always. First time over the Just Blex TV. Just press the subscribe button for free, notification bell. All you're not even have to make a call. So, for those you're not know, going out there in the street, whether working, hustling, we just ask the Almighty to protect the item. And in the meantime, please only just look out on the item. Well, peeps, just like up the video, please, and thank you very much. Just push it up in our YouTube rankings. Also, you have for watch a complete video if you really know what I go on in Jamaica because you know me bring the good, the bad and the ugly. Some with more say the indifference. But anyway people, me now hold back on the time. Missing Christasia Milne, age 26. She was last seen at home in 8 West Greater Portmore, St. Catherine on Monday, July 15. She was last seen wearing a white t-shirt and army green shorts with white stripes. Contact the Portmore police. Yes or the nearest police station if seen. So peeps, 64 schools could face delayed reopen due to severe hurricane damage. So some 64 schools are facing the possibility of a delayed start to the new academic year after they suffered severe damage by hurricane burial two weeks ago. So Prime Minister Andrew Onis gave a breakdown of the damage to schools in the House of Representatives on Tuesday, revealing that the cost of repairs will amount to 1.9 billion Jamaican dollars. Right, my people, just uh, we just hope the best, you know. Because 64 schools are only per schools that you know, people. So, peeps, man injured in field robbery slapped with charges after he turned up at hospital. Yeah, my people. So, a man who was shot and injured by a licensed firearm holder during attempted robbery at a storage facility was slapped with several charges after he turned up at hospital to treat his injuries. He has been identified as 42-year-old vendor Dwayne Walcott of Castle Heights, Kingston 5. So Walcott has been charged with using a firearm to commit a felony, simple larceny and assault at common law. So reports are that on Saturday, June 29, a man was alerted by a watchman to strange sounds coming from the area where he stores his building materials and tools on Montgomery Avenue in the parish. Yeah, Montgomery. The police said he made checks and saw Walcott and an assailant climbing over the rear wall of his premises carrying several large valued 17,000 Jamaican dollars and attempted to flee with them. It's reported that the man confronted both men. One of them fled while Walcott pointed a firearm towards him in a threatening manner. The police said the property owner drew his licensed Glock 19 pistol and fired four rounds in Walcott's direction and then ran. Lawmen were alerted to the scene and a trail of blood was found along a perimeter of wall in the community. The police said further a pair of black and white sneakers was found with blood in them. That I go on. Jesse, the police said checks were made. At several hospitals and Walcott was found, he was subsequently charged on Monday, July 15. His court date for him is being finalized. Right, my people? Yeah, man. Big 42-year-old man take up gun saying and rob man lot. Hey, the man should have drink on the blood, yeah? Old chink and piranha. So, peeps, furniture maker injured you in home invasion. A 44-year-old furniture maker from St. Mary survived an attempt on his life after an armed man invaded his house about 11 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday. So according to police reports, the man and his children were at home when a gunman entered through the unlocked front door, pointed a gun at in his face and said, Are you me comfort? As he struggled with the man in an effort to defend himself and his family, it's reported that another man entered the house and hit the homeowner over his head. The homeowner fell to the ground and his attackers fled. Jaja, you're lucky. Give thanks because after the licky, licky in the head of your job, then could have shoot you and kill you. Boy, I just give thanks, yeah, man. But, you know, you fought. Yeah, you never just stand up. You know? Just see me. So, peeps, no evidence found on Gabriel King's mother's phone. Right, my people, and them take so long, you know, for put out this to the public. 
that the woman they do all type of thing with that the phone the brother. So when you know say when you get phone for go do. <laughs> hey, I am Jamaica is not a real place. Moving over young people. So Akeem Campbell wanted for robbery with aggravation. Right? And Akeem Campbell, please just turn yourself in before you burn yourself in. Cause you know them police are them don't play. None at all. From them <laughs> pop off them gun off of them ways. A problem. You hear that? So, peeps, this is Jordan Hilton wanted for murder, right? And when you say Jordan, I talk Michael Jordan, where you know, shoot, you know, them three points. We are talking about Jordan, we are using gun. You see me a strike, <laughs> like Pele, Jesse V. But anyway, people, Jerome Crazy Clark wanted for possession of prohibited weapon and assault at common law. Well, Jerome, I don't know if it's a fake page or what, name same thing, Crazy Clark. Crazy. Underscore Clark and the man say who said I was running here yeah, man on the JCF page You saw it with the same picture you're looking at you know only thing you don't know it, it in crazy Clark But me just said judge I in brave You know in brave Moving over three cops charge with assault of colleague Yeah, my people a case involving three policemen charged for assaulting a colleague has been referred to restorative justice right my people that are going on what are going on. So Sergeant Steve Forrest, Constable Brian Grant, and Detective Corporal Roger Spence appeared before the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Tuesday by summons to answer to the charge of assault occasioning actually body arm in relation to another serving member of the JCF. The charge stemmed from a December 4, 2021 incident where the officer sustained injuries to his face and body the cops were charged following an investigation by the independent commission of investigation and director of public prosecutions right my people yeah two person investigated two big two of them big boy we just said right now yeah you miss that boy we're not beat up on one another hmm we're not go hard <laughs> But anyway, people, we are Yahweh leader granted bail. Leader of the Manchego Bay based Yahweh religious group, Omar Thompson, who was convicted of two counts of cruelty to two children and sentenced on June 29 to 22 months in prison, has been granted bail by the Court of Appeal. He will remain on bail pending the outcome of his appeal. Right, my people? Moving over to where body of man found in St. Catherine. The body of a man was found along Marley Mount Road in uh, Old Arbor, St. Catherine. This morning, the police say checks are to be made to a certain inn, you know, to identify the body. It's reported that about 6 o'clock, passes by stumbled upon body called the police. Just CB. So, peeps, that are going. Moving over again, peeps, look at the screen. This is Dahlia. She died, you know, from Monday morning in the USA. Died from natural cause, sickness. Right, my people? And trust me, put out on social media, people are dealing with that bad cause. Somebody commented and said, people are going to say, I'm no art. But when I found out and saw the RIP, I had to say my piece, which is RIP to my 60 grand. Yup, RIP to my hard-worked money. Also, somebody's coming saying that, you know, this female goes by the Dahlia run off with 300,000 Jamaican dollars. I don't know, but condolences goes out. Peeps, teen gone down after playing football. With a somber expression glued to his face, an 8-year-old boy huddled closely to an older relative as he expressed his fear of venturing outside of his community of Tivoli Gardens. Over the past two years, the youngster has lost two of his cousins and the neighbor to gun violence. All three victims were teenagers Jassy B me feel bad and me cry a lot sometimes me feel afraid me cry I'll not sleep me a dream about the killing them and me can't forget them my uncle dead four years now and me can't forget him he said the youngster was among a group who were grieving the loss of their loved one 17 year old Tivoli high school student Jermaine Mackenzie right peeps and who is Jermaine Mackenzie you know looking at the screen yes yeah, so Mackenzie also lived in Tivoli Gardens met his demise on Monday night in Denham Town shortly after playing a game of football according to the West Kingston police about 9 30 p.m. residents heard explosions along Blount Street in Denham Town upon Lamin's arrival Mackenzie was 
was found lying in a pool of blood, he was transported to the Kingston Public Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Right, people? Just see me, this serious, this serious, this serious. When it got stopped, young youth, them just are dead. Peeps, gunshot victim tells a dying words to mom. Man shot dead days before, 21st birthday. So, mommy, me love you. Those are the words that Margarita Rainford will hold close to her chest for the rest of her life as it was the departing phrase of her son, Tyreek McLeish, shortly after he was shot by gunmen on German Road on Monday night. Jaja peeps. Ya hear me? The people them, Jaja, ya hear me boy? Why Jamaica them say crime down, you know, but why a lot of things are going, you know, we're not even put to the forefront, you know, but we just say we just hope the best for Jamaica, you know, as a Jamaican. You see it? Just see me. So we just go just try to move over now to our next update, people. Yes, we are armed robber killed by homeowner in Pitfall St. James. An armed robber who broke into a home or uh, clothes in Pitfall St. James and managed to tie up three of the occupants was fatally stabbed and shot with his own gun by another occupant who resisted. Jaja, serious thing. The unidentified robber, described as dark brown, complexioned, and approximately 21 years old, standing about 5 feet 2 inches tall, with a cornrow hairstyle, met his end during the incident. Reports state that on Monday morning, the occupants were at home when the armed robber gained access and held them at gunpoint. He successfully tied up three of them, but the fourth fought back. Jassy B. Peeps. Fought back managed to shot him so other occupants joined in and the robber was also stabbed multiple times resulting in his death. Police were called to the scene where the occupants surrendered a Berita 9mm pistol fitted with a magazine containing several live rounds of ammunition. I would just say yo them people eh, Jassy B wants to know for buy uno some guineas. Yeah, man, that's only deal with the old chink, them and the young piranha, them, you know. We come out as late as the night and as early as morning light. Man gone down in Marley Gate, St. G, St. Catherine. Yeah, my people. So the whole of police in St. Catherine are probing the circumstances surrounding the shooting death of a man at Marley Gate in Old Abba St. Catherine on Sunday. The deceased has been identified as Dane Arden of Marley Gate, also in St. Catherine. Right, my people, busy up, busy up. So reports indicate that around 11 o'clock p.m., residents in the community summoned the police after hearing a barrage of gunshots. A team of officers arrived at the location and discovered Arden lying in a pool of blood with multiple gunshot wounds in his upper body. The scene was processed and the body was removed to the mark for a post-mortem yeah, post examination. Right, my people, grimy. So peeps, rifle found in church as cops carry out raid in Kingston. Team of officers assigned to the St. Andrews Central Police Division seized one M1 Garan rifle containing 6 7.62 mm on Crescent Road, Kingston, Level on Wednesday, July 17. Reports from the Hunts Bay Police are that about 12.53 p.m. Lawmen were in the area carrying out a search. During the search, the firearm was seen in a room of of the church wrapped in pieces of clothing no one was available in relation to this seizure right so the man them <laughs> got snatching rifle in a church police found it the police are trying if only the politicians would we in this country have a mighty far way to go in taming the monster of crime which is literally robbing us of our peace of mind scaring off nationals overseas who would like to come home and invest and preventing tourism from growing even faster however any sign of even the slightest fall in crime rates especially murder is encouraging and should be commended because the police are working against the odds with little help from the politicians who never tire of proof you know yeah, man, work with the people, them star, Jassy B. So, peeps, media barred from sitting of Keith Clark murder trial because of national security concerns. The trial of three members of the Jamaica Defense Force charged with the 2010 murder of businessman Keith Clark continued in the Home Circuit Court in downtown Kingston Wednesday with members of the media locked out when acquires were made. Yes, as to why the media was barred, the Jamaica Observer was told that there is a risk of national security secrets being revealed to the public. 
right? So them don't want that let out certain things with it, you know? But if you keep, you know, in a secret, just see me. But anyway, my people, that I go on for what I go on, you know, me do enough talking right now. So I start get to the walking. You guys just please stay safe, share your comments in the section. Peace, or oh, top, blessing. And them for no side, Jai Meds, representing for Just Blacks. Just Blacks tell them some prior words. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert. If I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blacks, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?